Hello and welcome to Senior Focus. My name is Lori and I'm going to be your host. And today I'm excited to welcome Mary Prenny. Mary is the Director of Elder Affairs in North Reading. Welcome. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much for having me here today on Senior Focus. Absolutely. Um, so what is it you can tell me about the seniors here in North Reading? Well, our seniors in North Reading are not much different than seniors in other parts of the country. Statistically, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts says you're a senior citizen if you're 60 years or older. And we have about 3,000 residents in town who are 60 years and older. And about, I would say about 1,600 people, of course, are our uh, baby boomers, the ones maybe around 64, 60 years of age. Mm -hmm. But it actually makes up 20.2% of our population. Wow. And that's a huge number because North Reading's population is about 14,900. And uh, it is a big number because now our senior citizens outnumber our school-aged children. Wow. That's fascinating. Which is, it is fascinating. And it's a number that I often throw out to our selectmen when I'm begging <laughs> for money on our budget time that we do have many seniors coming up and um, aging in place. That's fantastic. And so part of your position is um, the, working at the Senior Center, the director of the Senior mm -hmm. Center. So what is it that the Senior Center offers? What are some of those programs? Well, first of all, those of you who may not know, our Senior Center is the Edith A. O'Leary Senior Center, and it was named after our first director, um, actually our second director. Our Senior Center is located on the first floor on the third meeting house in the building on the Common, which is that beautiful building across from the fire station. It is a beautiful building. It is a beautiful building, and some people think it's a church, and in the past it has been the church, <laughs> but that's where we hold all our programs. We have a beautiful um, one-room Senior Center. But in that one room, we have many programs going on. Um, at the Senior Center, we have a staff clerk, Mark Mill. Many of you have probably already spoken to Mark when calling the Senior Center. Mm -hmm. We have another part-time program director. Her name is Jean Fitzgerald. Mm -hmm. And she's actually paid for with monies from Formula State Grant monies. And we have two van drivers, Michelle Cronin and Marty Dickman, who was just retired this past May. So we're open from 8 to 4, Monday through Fridays, Monday through Thursday, and 8 to 1 on Fridays. We run the same hours as our town buildings. Excellent. Of course, we're open other times where needed if we have a special occasion at night or on Saturday or Sunday. So the van drivers, those are people, is it possible for somebody to be picked up at home and brought into the senior center? Is that? Oh, you're... absolutely. Wow, that's it is a It is a um, program that we offer. Mm -hmm. It's a free program to North Reading residents, people who are disabled, or people in a pinch may just need a ride. Uh, we transport all over town. So it's to Walmart, Stop and Shop, Barbershop, Bank, Post Office. Wow. We also transport outside of town to the Family Health Family Medical Center in Wilmington, or the Leahy Clinic cl Clinic Satellite Office on, in Wilmington, also. Wow. Um, we now have some free time, so in certain cases, we will transport out of town to a doctor's appointment if necessary. Mm -hmm. We're now using some of that extra time on doing um, once a month field trips using our oh, senior van, great. which we weren't able to do before. That's great. So we're excited about that. Uh, both Michelle and Jean uh, pick a destination. It's advertised in the transcript, and of course, it's advertised at the senior center. And they go out once a month to. Um, they just went to the Davisport Yacht Club for dinner. What fun! Newberry Port shopping and antiquing. And uh, their next trip, I think they're talking about maybe the Wenham Museum, wow. which will be a fun thing to do. That's fantastic. So we do a lot of things with our van. Like I said, it's free. Mm -hmm. And in North Reading, as most of you know at home, we don't have transportation. We don't have public service. Right. We do not have a bus, a train. Mm -hmm. We do not have a taxi cab. Mm -hmm. So basically, our transportation is our senior van. But we're also blessed to have Christian Community Service working with us. There are a bunch of volunteers from town who volunteer to take people to outside medical transportation. Wow. And um, we do this. They call us someone who needs a ride. We set up an appointment with a volunteer driver, and they will take them to their appointment and take them back. So we're very lucky to have that group working with us. That's fantastic. So what are some of the other programs that the Senior Center well, offers? Well, we serve a daily lunch at noon. Uh, this year alone, we served almost 5,000 meals. Oh, my goodness. During the, during the year. It's a, a lunch that we ask a $2 donation for. Just recently, went up from $1.50 after maybe 15, 20 years. Wow. The lunch is either a hot lunch or a cold lunch. Mm -hmm. 
And it is, comes from Mystic Valley Elder Services, who is our ASAP agency, which is an area service aging point mm -hmm. agency, um, delivers our mail. Uh, most all senior centers and counseling agents, agencies deal with an ASAP agency. They're, it's a federal mandated, and uh -huh. we have the pleasure and privilege of dealing with Mystic Valley Elder Services out of Malden. We also, out of that day, we set up in, um, deliver almost to our home delivered meal clients. Last year, I think we had about 70 home delivered meals and believe it or not, almost 14,000 meals were delivered. Wow. Some people receive three meals a day, um, one meal a day. Um, that's either a hot or cold lunch, which they can order. That's also true at the senior center. It's either a hot lunch or a cold lunch. It's very nutritious uh, and it's most days very good. And uh, we go out in all types of weather, our meals drivers, they are they are saints from heaven. Wow. We do all kinds of weather, driveways that are, you know, aren't shoveled, oh flights of stairs that aren't shoveled, our rainy days, hot days. Um, they are true saints in making sure our meals get out every day. That's incredible. And one of the things that I was just thinking about as you were saying that is I just recently learned that the number one reason a senior will go to the emergency room is because of medication mismanagement. And so often what that can be from is not eating properly and so the medications they're reacting differently so it's an enormous um, part of keeping of staying healthy is making sure that you have those meals so that's a fantastic oh, service that you're providing and absolutely when that meals on wheels drive is knocking on your door it's a safety check every day absolutely so it's not even so much the people are receiving that meal they are having a check someone's coming in they're seeing a friendly face a little visit uh, some nice talk so it's, yeah. it's a nice thing that we do that is great and so you are not only the director of the Senior Center mm -hmm. here in town, but you also have a role with Elder Affairs. Is that correct? You that is true. I'm director of the Senior Center and director of Elder Affairs. So our Senior Center, um, we do a lot more things at a Senior Center besides serving lunches. Like I said, it is one room, and we are moving furniture constantly every day. But we have about 125 people who may venture through our doors every week. Wow. We have exercise programs, a wellness program, three mornings a week. Of course, we have bingo, which is quite popular. <laughs> it is still a senior center. Uh, we social games. We have a wee bowling, a wee bowling league. Excellent. Bridge, bridge games, card games. Uh, we have a great walking club. Um, we have a social event at least once a month where we host and we we have an entertainer. It's usually theme based. We're having a Father's Day special this coming Thursday with a. Um, play called Geriatrics. Oh, great. And it's being actually paid for with cultural council money, so that was even better that we're not paying for it. Yeah. So uh, we do a lot of things. We have various speakers who come up. They speak from anything between nutrition, insurance, how to get a will, to even yeah. sex in the elders. Of course, not in that order, but <laughs> <laughs> we do have a lot of speakers that come up. Um, we have That's professionals great. who come up and guide us through um, insurance, our shine counselors. Sure. Uh, people who help fill out forms for uh, food stamp applications, housing. Yeah. Uh, so we do a lot of things up there. But most of all, people come to the Senior Center, I think, just to meet old and new friends, yeah. socialization, and uh, just to hang out. I know it seems whenever I'm there, I'm there once a week. Whenever I'm there, it always seems like everybody's having a really great time and that it's um, an incredible sense of community and almost a, sort of a new family that's been created. It's funny you should say that one of our younger volunteers, which I'll speak about a little later, is proud of our Transition Academy, one yep. of the students from the North Reading High School. And she said to us the other day that she loves coming here because we're like family. Yeah, absolutely. And she really enjoys coming. And she, yeah. she comes even the day she doesn't have to. I mean, Sorry. as a matter of fact, we were right now um, working at the senior center stuffing envelopes for our next <laughs> mailing. So it, yeah, it is a fun great. place to be. Absolutely. That's definitely the sense I get every time I, I go is that uh, there's a lot of energy and um, some great friendships have been established. And, it does, and you advertise, as you said, the programs. And I'm often looking at them wishing I could, uh, wishing I could attend. I know there was a painting one that oh, was yes. recent. Oh, yes. Painting class is quite popular. Yeah, I know. I've got to figure out how to get that, that time off yeah. so I can go. Cause those you have to like reserve that well in advance. Yeah, I would think that would be popular. Um, so, so that's sort of what's happening at the Senior mm -hmm. Center. And then what are your responsibilities with Elder Affairs? Well, I am work? Director of Elder Affairs. And like I said, the Senior Center job is the fun part of my job. But there are plenty of families and other people in town dealing with um, people, elderly spouses, family members, grandparents, parents, who are having some difficulty. 
in aging. Mm -hmm. So we're around to um, offer services, mm -hmm. whether it's through our department or through other agencies that we work for or work with. I mean, that can be anywhere from providing home health care, yep. respite care, mm -hmm. um, getting that meal delivered, um, transportation, like I mentioned, which yep. is a huge prop Thing. problem with our elderly in town. Um, on some days it's not so good. We deal with elders at risk mm -hmm. or you know protective service cases which lately seem to be growing a bit in mm -hmm. town. Uh, we have um, caregivers mm -hmm. who are very strained yeah. at the end of you know their wits and trying to take care of loved ones mm -hmm. and uh, things happen. You know in town we deal very closely with the fire and police department with the police department, um, you know, there are drugs involved and other situations, sadly, that happen, not only in North Reading, that's happening all sure. over the state and in, in, in the country. Um, so we do a lot of other work. Um, we also are busy dealing, of course, with budgets and grants. And we have a very small budget, so we spend a lot of time in trying to figure out how to be creative mm -hmm. in our funding, making things yep. happen at the senior center. And so you were talking a little bit about the other organizations that Elder Affairs works with. So Okay, I do work. We, we contract with Mystic Valley Elder Services mm -hmm. out of Malden, which is our ASAP agency. Um, just for an example, last year I think we did almost $660,000 worth of services wow. for Mystic Valley Elder Services. And these are federally funded programs, state funded programs. Uh, we deal with them with a match, cash match grant from the town. That's how we get those services. Uh -huh. um, basically, we give them, I think, $2,200 a year, uh -huh. and they provide us with all these services. Wow. And they can be anywhere from home care services to, um, again, transportation. They deal with our protective service families. Uh, I'm really happy to say, and I know you're in, in, in another field, in facility, nursing facility mm -hmm. field, but this year we, they helped us with about over 200 residents were served in North Reading one way or another. And 29 of these serve people were actually nursing facility candidates. Uh -huh. But yeah. because we were able to give them these services, yep. we were able to keep them home. That's fantastic. Out of a nursing facility with their families yep. in which their homes where they, you know, they built, Absolutely. they've lived in North Reading a long time. They have contributed, yep. you know, these are the people who built our soccer fields, right. our football fields, our CCD teachers, yep. and, you know, now again building a new school in town. Yep. So uh, we're quite happy that we're able to do that. That was quite an accomplishment for us in Mystic Valley to be able to keep these people home in the community. Uh, absolutely, and that, that is something huge to be proud of. Um, so what do you think some of the common misconceptions are? What do you think, what is it that you would like people to know, not only that what the senior center is doing, but, but what they're not doing, you know, that sort uh, of misunderstanding? Well, what we're not doing is we don't play bingo every day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, although bingo is quite popular in North Reading, I'm told. Yeah. We have people who come from different cities and towns, yeah. and we have good prizes, but they come because it's a friendly environment. Uh, they really enjoy coming and meeting people there. Um, I guess another one is that, you know, um, we don't all sit there and drool while we're having lunch. If oh anything, goodness, yeah. we're not drooling at those tables. Yep. We're savoring the fine memory of the food that we just ate. Yep. Um, we don't all use walkers to get into the building. Yep. Um, many of our people come to visit walk up the hill, yeah. wow. up a flight of stairs. That's an impressive hill to walk freedom. up. <laughs> it, it is an impressive <laughs> hill um, for a cup of coffee. Yep. So, uh, you know, we are, you know, a fun, friendly place, and you know, basically, you don't have to come to the senior center because mostly all the people on on social security come. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of people who are younger people who join our exercise programs or come for one of our presentations. They either come before work because they're still working, and the good part, even if you are on social security, most of our programs, I would say, ninety-five percent of our programs are free. Wow! So um, it's obviously affordable. Yeah. And it's a, a good place to come if you want to exercise, meet people, um, learn new things, or just find out about insurance or other way you can get services. So is there an age limit or is there an age requirement? No, there is no age requirement. Like I said, the Commonwealth considers 60 older as a statistic, but everyone is welcome at the senior center. So right. if somebody was, was under 60, they could still Oh, participate. absolutely, absolutely. If you want to take part in one of our programs, you're welcome. Um, Everyone's invited.
That's fantastic. Well, thank you. I feel like I've learned an incredible amount. And I thought I knew the scene to Central well before we started. So this is great. Oh, this well, is great. Thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, and before we close, I sure. just want to thank um, Laurie here for oh, hosting Senior Focus because this is one of the programs that I've always wanted to do. I always wanted to present a cable program about senior citizens. But I knew the energy it took. The effort it took, <laughs> the research it took. So thank you for doing Absolutely. this, uh, because it's one thing I've just scratched off my bucket list of things well, to do. So well, thank you, great. and thank the folks from North Camp Absolutely. for hosting yeah. this. Rob and Phil have been fantastic. They Absolutely. have. They're yeah. always fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you. Thanks very much. Um, so, and if you have any questions or would like to learn more about the Senior Center or about um, Elder Affairs, certainly Mary is your contact. She's the one that you're going to want to speak with, and her number is nine seven eight. 664-5600. And if you have any questions for me or if you would like to suggest a show topic, we're always looking for new ideas. You can reach me at 978-276-2010. Thank you.